hi to Chaco. And we have red, not red, orange against blue. Chamiko in the blue, fast in the orange. Was he playing orange before? I don't know, but we have a blade, not a blade master, arc base here for Chamiko. And a blade master here for, uh, for for fast. So last time fast won two to one with a lot of hero focus. Chamiko went mount king three times. I'm not sure if that's the strategy to go to against the fast. I feel like uh, against fast you should get a beast master or a blood mage. He seems to know how to play against the mount king. But I'm not sure if Chamiko is good with the blood mage second or a beast master. I Hardly ever see him play those heroes against Orc. No, he's not like Romantic or Yumiko. He plays a lot of blood mages against Orc. He's not like Infi or Sky. Well, Sky is not very good at the moment, but Infi or uh, TH, I guess, who play uh, more Beastmasters. Uh, we do see another very slow attack here for Fast with du Double Burrow. Footman, Scouts. Arkman is screaming over here, but the water and metal is uh, killing everything. He gets a close up attack. That's such a nice item for the Arkman. This is already going so much better for Chamiko. Oh, never mind. We also have a close up attack here on the Blade Master, which is a pretty good account as well. Uh, account? Pretty good item as well. Oh, is the Arkman going for this one? I don't like that too much. No, he's not. Okay, good. Whew. I don't like it at all, at all because Blade Master often he goes for our. Either one of the middle creeps right now, either this item or this one. And if the Archmage is here, you get a nice timing attack on that uh, creep jack. So yeah, Chamiko going for the little Murloc keys. While at the same time killing these gnolls with the, the militia. All these Murlocs taking so much damage. This baby Murloc Tide Runner. Close to go down. What uh what tome did he get? Can we see the tome somewhere? It's always so hard to see. Is that it? I think it's it. That does look like a tome of XP, doesn't it? Where's the tome of strength? For some reason it's not spinning, so it's harder to see. Uh, let's see, he has 70 strength, don't think it was a tome of, uh, okay, whatever. He kills this, uh, this null, he's level 3 now. Do you normally get level 3 from those 3 creep camps? Or do you need a tome of XP? Blade Master cutting apart his footman. Blade Master is just level 2, but he will kill this footman. Look at this footman, he's, he's about to die. There he goes, he just, he's a dead footman now. Archmage maybe buy some, uh, buy some boots I like boots we have a bunch of footmen three footmen and water elemental the blade mass now going for the creeps over here he has a class of attack plus six and a potion of invo the potion of invo is uh it's not my favorite item in this matchup really usually i prefer uh greater healing potion Archmage do, uh, trying to hunt down that uh, demon hunter, not demon hunter, blade master. With it, oh, Bla Archmage, be careful. Does have the boots, he does have the claws. He can be uh, quite ballsy there, but he needs to, of course, there's a limit. There's always a limit. He's going for this uh, forestal berserker. He might be able to kill it. This water metal might die as well, by the way, but uh, who cares about him? No one cares. He has no family. Oh, besides his, his brother. But his brother has no eyes in the back of his uh, head. He doesn't know his brother is about to die. Uh, he expires anyway. The four soul berserker does go down. The footman went down as well. Wait, he expired? I'm not sure if he expired or if he, if he got the XP. Blade Master is pretty close to level 3. This will give him level 3 in fact. Uh, which is perfect for Mr. Blade Master. Uh, but losing that berserker was uh, definitely worth it though. Two water elementals. Well, he lost the footman as well, didn't he? Hmm. Well, Arkway still slightly ahead in XP, but he was super far ahead in XP. He was level 3 against barely level 2. Now he's, he's level 3 against level level 3. So, uh, there's the warm by the way. 
Maybe that's why it doesn't go Beastmaster against Fast because Fast builds a war mill any, uh, every game, no matter what, to defend against Tower Rushes. So maybe Blood Match is the answer against Fast. Blade Master keeps being stunned by these little bashing kobolds. Uh, it gets evasion. It's not bad in this uh, matchup. Right, imagine if you evade a Mountain King attack that it was about to bash you. Suddenly you don't get bashed. Suddenly you, you can keep attacking. Suddenly you can critical strike uh, Archmage to death. All because of that evasion. Footman here at pretty low on hit points. We have some priest healing them. There's Mr. Blade Master. He has level 2 Windwalk, by the way, level 1 fit. But is he going for the Archmage healing back in the back? Uh, this Footman takes so much damage, he goes down. Gets one Footman. What happened to the, uh, the other Footman that was hurt? Question Did it get healed up or did it just vanish? I think it just vanished. To the nothingness. Two sorceresses, more sorceresses. Again, we have the Mount King. The Blade Master, what is he gonna kill here? He wants his, uh, this previous. Did he get it? No, right? Or did he? I don't know, I checked just a second too late. I was just about to check how much XP he got. The Mount King does get uh, level 5. The illusions could be good, of course. Another level 2 Zulkis. Mount King is also level 2. So XP wise, it's pretty even. Uh, supply wise, it's pretty even. And uh, item wise, it's pretty even, I think. Yeah, I mean, neither have like insane items. We have the Boots of Speed and uh, Potion of Invo here on the Mount King. 15 second Invo here on the Blade Master. Raccoon over here, but there are more creeps on the right side of the map than on the left side of the map. So that was good, I guess, by Jamiko. He has better chance to get uh, more creep camps here now. But Piggy, Piggy walking over here. We have uh, fast creeping this these turtles, uh, murlocs, and one turtle. Let's see if we can get a nice item. He needs mana on the shadow hunter. That's that's the most important thing. Mana, like a pendant of energy would be even good, right? Because he has full mana. So a pendant of energy just gives him 150 extra mana. It's amazing. Every time he uses a mana potion, he can drop the pendant of energy, use a mana potion, get like, uh, instead of 200 mana, it gives about 300 mana because he will get one and a half times as many mana with a mana, uh, pendant of energy. But he gets a ring of protection plus three. What a shitty item. Here I was like, uh, Talking about Pendant of Energy, about great items, about mana items, but no, what does Blizzard give him? The worst item in the game. Ring of Protection plus 3. On the on Mount King also we have a lot of Ring of Protections, uh, but on Mount King it's much better of course. And look at this argument actually, 3 claws of attack, did he buy some? Maybe he bought some. Of course if you buy them, you that also means the Blade Master can't buy them, but there is a Gloss of Haste available. Sub friends, sub Chaco master, sub happy bad micro. Welcome back to the stream. The Archmage is almost level four. Oh, sources are adept, so priests are initiate still. Maybe you should get adept priests as well. He's a 50 supply. He could get an upgrade right now before he goes over 50. Fast, on the other hand, went over fa uh, 50 super fast. Like fast, uh, like his name would suggest. <coughs> I think the dispel is pretty good on the priest, right? Or do you actually, do you dispel anything? Is there anything to dispel? You can dispel the spirit link, but usually then you also dispel your own slow, which is not very good. Instead, you just have spell breakers anyway to steal the spirit link. So Dispel, I guess you don't really use it, but the extra... Forces are under you could use on Hex, maybe? 
with the extra hit points, extra mana. At least it's probably worth it, but I guess he doesn't think so. He just goes over 50 supply, never gets it adapt. Oh, he did. Oh, never mind. He did get an adapt on a priest. Does that peon? What is Fast doing, by the way? He's just sitting in his base. There's nothing left to creep at his side of the map. Uh, Jamiko did creep all these creep camps. So he should have a XP lead, right? Level 4 Archmage, almost level 4 Mount King. Here we have a uh, level 3 and half Blade Master. Low level 3 uh, Shadow Hunter, yeah. So very nice play by Jamiko. At the start of the game, creeping all fast creeps. So at the end of the game, he was able to get more creeps on his side of the board. And now it's 62, 66 against 68. Did you cast Moon's, Moon's games by any chance? Yes, I did cast, uh, not first enchant, I cast Moon's uh, winner's bracket finals against, uh, against fast. There it is, the three sources does go down. This uh, spirit walker taking off damage. Kodo eats a spellbreaker, that was so tasty. Do we have more water elementals? This is by the way, look at what he's attacking, it's pretty important. Probably doesn't realize it. And he's just uh, having an uh, attack move, but uh, oh, the Wyvern went down. But the Archmage is doing so much damage with these claws. You kind of want to, you know, be a bit more conscious of the, looking at what he's attacking. He's going for just a Raider. Sure, with the spell break, takes so much damage from the Grunts. He sends another, another Water Elemental, the Mount King. Level 4 now, by the way. Blade Master, same story, but the Mount King has now level 2 Bash. The Blade Master now has level 2 Critical Strike. Uh, it's about the same uh, in strength, of course. Uh, another grunt goes down. This ball breaker running for his life. It goes down. And this raider taking a lot of damage. Can he kill the raider? There goes the raider. And the slow. We have 49 spike against 55. It's still anyone's game. How much mana on the Shadow Hunter? That's so important. This is last healing self uh, thing, he wave. And he speed scrolls out of here because he knows he cannot win the fight anymore. He could have uh, bought this potion of greater mana. It was definitely worth it. Oh, yeah, the shop. If he didn't have a shop here over here building, which is, by the way, super nice here by Fast. That's, of course, what you have to do. Uh, if he didn't have the shop building here and he was forced to continue this fight, he could have bought this uh, greater mana po uh, potion. 400 gold. 400. It's definitely worth it uh, at that point. Like, zero mana Shadow Hunter. You're just going to lose every game. Uh, 300 mana Shadow Hunter. You're just gonna win that every game. The Kodo is gonna digest his uh, spellbreaker. And Chamiko again. It looks like he's losing. He's he's uh, 10 supply behind. Even though he had the XP advantage, does he still have it? He still has the XP advantage. Maybe he needs to retrain. No, to Blizzard. I mean, he has three claws of attack. It's kind of uh, not the the items you want to use to you want to have when you retrain to Blizzard. You can give maybe some of the class to the Mount King. Right, so the Archmage does do a lot of damage, so maybe you should just try to kill the Blade Master. Archmage is a Blade Master killer. Uh, extra damage on your hero, on a ranged hero, is very good against your opponent's heroes. Because normally all the ranged units in your army. To reduce damage to heroes, the only exception are your uh, heroes. So if you have a lot of DPS on your ranged hero, don't just have him on the attack move. Always have him attack one of your opponent's heroes. It's not always true in this matchup though, because of the spirit link and the heal wave. So only uh, only when you actually want to focus the blade master should you really focus him. Two spellbreakers here in the back, uh, in the front. I mean, a snare. There's a stormbolt on the blade master. Now the archmage is attacking the blade master. Look at how much damage he takes, but, and he's uh, he has to run away for a second there. The spellbreaker takes a lot of damage. This raider goes down. So far, one for one trade. The blade master now going for this spellbreaker. Can he kill it? We have uh, we have a mana potion now on the shadow hunter, but oh, he's, he doesn't have a lot of mana. He needed some clarities as well. Maybe he used all his clarities. The raider taking a lot of damage. It goes. Not down, I guess. The Blade Master kills this uh, Spellbreaker. 159 Critical Strike. Now kills this Water Elemental. And uh, what else is it going for? This Grunt, by the way, very low hit points. Healing Wave heals a few units, including the Grunt. But uh, the Grunt was like the last unit in the heal wave. So he only got healed for a little bit. 
Lots of shitty micro there by uh, by Jamiko. Oh my god, never seen a spellbreaker so badly micro. It was just standing there when it was gonna be eaten by the Kodo. Is uh, the blood goes down, the, the water metal goes down to the sword of the Blade Master. Now Jamiko is ahead by 14 supply. Apparently he did. Oh, Blade Master is dead. GG. Now we're just waiting for the GG. There it is. GG. I mean, fly is uh, actually we're without uh, without doing this on purpose. At the moment, we're watching from the observer point of view of uh, fly. Right. This is fly. This is Infi. This is Ted, and this is TH. They're all in the same game. Don't they have uh, anyone casting group A? Let's go to fly. Other camera from fly perspective. This is what Fly is watching. Now, if you watch the same thing that Fly watches, we, we can become as good in uh, Warcraft 3 as Fly. Look at this. Fly is looking at the shop. Fly uh, is so impressed by the shop. Now he's looking at the burrows. He sees a second burrow. He, re he realizes, oh, what an another slow attack here by Fast. Fast likes the slow attacks. Maybe he clicks on this altar and sees, oh, there's an Archmage. I love Archmages because I can kill them. And that's really nice, killing Archmages is what uh, I do as Fly. And uh, oh, we have a Blade Master, that's what I get as well as Fly. I get also Blade Master, but he got Jubei. I always get the uh, Jara. Oh, this Archmage, let's see what he gets. Oh, it's a Peril Spellbinder. Yeah, I'm not sure if these names are translated to Chinese. They probably have completely different names. Probably uh, that doesn't even translate to Peril Spellbinder, but he gets uh, the Slippers of Agility, which is uh, pretty shitty for an Archmage. Blade Master here creeping over here. He checked the militia out for a second. Uh, and uh, let's see. Oh, he gets a Tome of Strength. But uh, that's not that great item there, uh, Tome. Archmage creeping here on the with the turtles. And meanwhile, we're looking at his footman. Uh, and now he's gonna finish kill, kill, uh, killing these turtles. I'm not sure this is exactly how Fly sees the game, by the way. I think, uh, I'm not sure how the, how the camera works exactly. If it's based on selection or based on where he's... I don't think it's based on where his screen is because that information isn't broadcasted. So it must be based on uh, selection somehow. Uh, but Archmage, you know he's gonna creep here. The Blade Master is creeping here. Uh, did he get a close of attack plus 9? Yes, that's pretty good. That's uh, really good. That's an uh, interesting item there. And let's uh, do the camera ourselves because I'm sure some of you were getting a bit sick there. A bit seasick. By Fly APM on the camera control there. It was uh, some insane camera control there by Fly. It was, uh, the APM was all over the field. Unfortunately, we cannot see the APM here in the top left of Fly. If you press Ctrl C, it goes to the unit the, the layer is clicking on. The player player's clicking on, you mean? It goes on the unit I'm, I'm clicking on. And you can also do it by clicking on the grunt, by the way. Uh, but if we select Chimiko, no, it doesn't work uh, for a seven the dude. Not uh, not in that ease at the least. I just uh, yeah, whatever I select. But we don't see what uh, Fly actually selects. So the Blade Master, he has a cause of attack. Another one is really good, and the Mantle of Intelligence, very nice. Mantle of Intelligence very nice for the Shadow Hunter in the moment, and it's good for him now. He has level two uh, Windwalk, level three Blade Master already. He buys the boots. What is the Archmage doing? He's still level two. Blade Master level three. Archmage just level two. Archmage got some nice items as well, but the Blade Master. Let's see what he can do over here. Nothing. The base, of course, is completely sealed off here by Chamiko. He's no noob. He's no little newbie. He has lost uh, before against the Blade Master in his base. No. Uh, yeah. Of course, he could move a peon in, and then use the staff. It's kind of risky, though, as uh, as orc, because your peon will often just not reach the human base, right? It's not like a wisp that can uh, hide anywhere in the trees, and then suddenly pop out like surprise, and then your demon hunter stops in with the immolation. Okay, this uh, water, uh, this uh, water meant to do a lot of damage against the burrow. Spirit Lodge coming up in the background. There are some footmen running in. Are they going for the Lodge or the Burrow? Uh, he's going for the Lodge. Okay, one well, footman already retreating. Blade Master comes in. Starts chopping up the Archmage. By the way, the boots on the Blade Master, were those bought? They were bought, right? It can't be otherwise. Because he got the Claws of Attack plus 9. 
uh, instead of uh, the boots. So uh, the Archmage with the uh, cancel the Spirit Lodge, going for this burrow, but the burrow survives thanks to those pesky peons. The uh, Grunts going for the Water Elemental, the Archmage running for his life, he will save his life though. Unless we have, uh, actually we have a lot of Windwalks still available. Maybe you can kill the Archmage, use another uh, Windwalk. Uh, but what is he, why is he AFK? I think he just lost his opportunity. No, never mind, the Mountain King is going the wrong way. And there's that uh, TP. But where is he TPing to? Over here or over here? Oh, oh, that's a dead Archmage. That Archmage is dead. You guys saw the Archmage? He's no longer here. He's dead. The Blade Master does get away safely. And uh, so far, pretty good for fast. Sun Hunter's out. The Peon is repairing the burrow. That's what plus 17 damage does for you. And uh, not just that, by the way. Also, the mantle of intelligence giving him more, uh, man uh, more uh, wind walks, and of course, the boots, and of course, everything else. Two sorceresses. Nice TP. I think the. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, it was a bit of a risky TP. The thing is, if you TP in your base, you have to open your base. It means that you have to build arcane towers later as well, or close it again with a farm. Also, the blade mask can go in, uh, which you can do. He was just uh, TPing to over here, planning to buy a healing potion, so he could go back out again, instead of having to wait to kill this tree, wasting so much time. I mean, if he got that heal potion, it was definitely better to TP to over here than over here. But he wasn't fast enough. The Blade Master was too close already. He just right click the Archmage or Archmage was dead. Jubei gets a Helm of Failure. He might still lose the game now. The unlucky item. It's not the worst one, right? It's the best stats item actually for uh, Orc. Players' forces are under attack. It's uh, better than the Medallion of Courage, better than the Hood of Cunning, better than uh, Crystal Ball. Close of attack plus 12, I'm not sure. It's probably... Uh, it might actually be better than Close of attack plus 12, guys. Because Close of attack plus 12 isn't that great. Cloak of Flames, I'm not sure either. But all the aura items are definitely much better than this item. So, because we know, like, uh, uh, we just learned that from level 3 on, uh, Boots of Cult Loss is better than Claws of Attack plus 12. This only gives 2 agility less, but he has already 2 Claws of Attack. So that means agility is even worth even more than extra attack. So definitely on this Blade Master, with also level 4 already with level 2 Critical Strike. I'm pretty sure at this point it's a better item than the Claws of Attack plus 12. So... We can call we can be meme about it. We can call it the uh, helm of failure, but I actually believe it's uh, probably the best non aura item he could have gotten there. No four Jubei level three seven hundred. Let's see what he gets here. Helm of failure again. Okay, are you uh, keep, gonna keep it on the shadow hunter? It's not very good on a Shadow Hunter, doesn't give any intelligence. Maybe trade it with the Boots of Speed, sell the Boots of Speed. At this point you don't really need it anymore, do you? Yeah, he gives the Boots of Speed here to the Shadow Hunter. And now we have uh, a Blade Master with uh, very fast attack speed, plus 32 damage. And that's without oh, that, without the Kota Aura, with the Kota Aura it's plus 37. And we have Blizzard by the way for Charmiko, but this Archmage is a little dead hexed unit. Oh, beautiful Invis! Save the Archmage, use the Info Potion. Do we see more Blizzard? Uh, I like to return to Blizzard, by the way. It's like, it was all or nothing at this point, but it's nothing. It's nothing. It was so far behind. It's, uh, the Archmage is just going to die there. There, GG. Ted, let's watch from Ted's point of view. Uh, some reason this game doesn't have the other four players or three th Infi, fly Did they just change games in between the games? What the fuck are they doing man? Or maybe they're watching just like me from the 
on that east with the three minute delay. There's Mr. Archmage. What do we have here? We have a Blade Master. Blade Master for Fast. Archmage for uh, Chamiko. What? Have we, haven't we seen that before? Yes. We've seen that before every other game they played before. Which is five games today already. This is the sixth game they're playing to, to against each other today. Because earlier they played against each other. Fast one, two to one. And now they're one, one. So this is uh, the sixth game. Amazing. Game six. So, uh, Archmage almost out. Footman. The first Footman goes on a scouting journey here. And uh, this Blade Master almost out. If this was Infi, you know, we'd see a Fire Lord Towers every game. And he would be just beat fast in five seconds. But this is not Infi, guys. This is. It's not Infi. You know who we're watching? We're watching Chimiko. By the way, look at this. No shop. He's going to harass from the start. Not building the second burrow. This time he goes for a fast tech. Last few games he played slow tech. This game he plays fast tech. That's so different. Uh, even without the shop means the super, super, super duper, super duper fast tech. The Blade Master is going to be walk here pretty soon. Samuro. We have Samuro. Do we have any Samuro fans here in the chat? He sells the TP, buys the circuit. The Archmage got a nice mantle of intelligence, tome of intelligence, and a ring of protection. The ring of protection not that good, but the tome and the mantle so good. Four more extra damage already per shot and extra mana, extra water elemental. Beautiful block here with the water elemental, but the Blade Master just walks through. He doesn't care about your beautiful blocks, you know. He just walks through your unit. That's uh, that's what he does. Now he's uh, following this Archmage. Maybe chopping him up one more time. There it is. He has mana for two more windwalks, but uh, it's not going to be enough to kill Mr. Archmage. The footman hunting down the uh, ground. What's the water elemental doing? Maybe move to over here, summon your militia, and creep that with your militia. Hello. Well, your grunt is, uh, where your footman is hunting down the grunt. No, he's going to creep with the footman as well. What is this? A footman very hurt. Did he creep this one again? Uh, yeah, and we have slippers of agility. You can't let the blade master pick that up. You're going to lose. Archmage, by the way, is still in pretty healthy shape. There's Water Metal Tank over here. There comes Mr. Grunt. He sees what's happening. Can this uh, Cobalt Geomancer slow the Grunt? No, he goes down first. This, uh, this Footman is slow. This takes a, a lot of damage. The Archmage is going to buy some boots. Maybe pick up the slippers. Maybe sell some items as well. Uh, later, of course, after picking up the slippers. Probably not the Ring of Protection. No, he doesn't go for the slippers. Instead, he goes for... I don't know what he goes for. This Grunt. That's a grunt. This footman survived so far. Four footman out. He's building maybe. In the, oh. I guess plus one. I guess he has five footmen. Two of them very low. And the Archman is just running away from Mr. Blade Master. We have a fourth red iron, by the way. But he's not red. It's a fourth yellow. A yellow fort. Fort is, of course, German. No, American. American. I know shit about cars, okay? Blade Master, does he want to kill this? No, does he want to kill this? What is he doing? He lost oh, Mr. Archmage. Just now realized, oh, I must have lost him over here with the Murdochs. Prince uh, told him, more slippers on this Archmage. Imagine if he sells this and sell, picks up the other one and sells those as well. It could have gone to the Blade Master. Both the slippers to the Blade Master would have been GG. But instead, now it's just a weak little Blade Master that does nothing but has one circlet and has 42 xp from the one water elemental these guns are gonna kill this murloc though maybe there it goes and he gets xp for that as well of course that's uh, 32 xp for level 2 creep and oh no he's gonna pick up the slippers this is so bad for Chamiko. he should have picked it up earlier man this slippers don't just give it to the blade master you're just saying like okay i can either win the game or i can lose the game you know what i just i'm gonna lose the game by not picking up those slippers. Blade Master. Imagine if he gets more slippers over here. Imagine that. Instead of Cloak of Shadows. Oh, never mind. It's Cloak of Shadows. Chamiko knew, of course, that was just going to be Cloak of Shadows. So uh, he wasn't worried. Mount King out again. We have priests. Uh, they're probably first going to heal these two footmen if he's smart. And Chamiko is pretty smart. I think Chamiko. Is a smart player. player He's not like uh, I, I doubt there's actually any stupid players, but he's not uh, not very stupid. This Sasquatch taking so much damage, he goes down. Tome of Strength is nice for the Mountain King. Picks it up. 
uh, one of lightning shield also pretty nice i believe i mean it's kind of nice it's not like super super duper nice uh for a human but it's kind of nice you can you give it to the archmage and later used on your mountain king when he's surrounded not by footmen but oh he sells it never mind it's a shitty item what do i know a player's force is he just sells it Let's see what Blade Master gets over here, or what anyone gets. The piggy is uh, running for his life. The piggy wizard. And Shadowhunter's level 2 picks up the Tome of Agility. What a nice tome here for the uh, Blade Master. Of course, it's a plus 2, so that means he goes from 25 to 27. It's kind of like Slippers of Agility that doesn't pick a, uh, take a spot. There's a beautiful person on the Blade Master. Can he cancel? No, he cannot cancel that uh, healing off. What a nice item, Rope of the Magi, gives it to the Shadow Hunter. he's gonna be so happy, right? Um, maybe not yet, maybe, uh, there it is, gives it to the Shadow Hunter. look how happy, look at the smile on the Shadow Hunter's face, look, now that he has this, uh, this Rope of the Magi, he cannot hold in his smile, he's like, he's smiling all the time, that's what I would do as well, if I just get this present. Like, instead of uh, getting socks for, for Christmas, you get a rope of the Magi. <laughs> I mean, it's so close. I, as a child, I hated getting clothes for Christmas. Uh, I would have hated getting the rope of the Magi, but now, if I get one, I'd be happy. Uh, a nice, more mana for the Shadow Hunter. This game is looking so insane for uh, fast, except that he doesn't get any damage items for the Blade Master, but that he, he has the other half of the equation. Usually, if you get both, you cannot lose this matchup, right? If you get. Uh, damage for the Blade Master, and you get healing uh, or mana for the Shadow Hunter. You cannot lose this matchup; but it's impossible. But if you get uh, just one, it's still possible to lose. Or oh, Stormbolt on the Fake Blade Master. Uh, the items on the Human they don't matter as much. He has plenty of mana on the Mount King. He got the same Rope of the Magi and the same Potion of Greater Healing, a uh, mana. I mean, but it doesn't matter. You know, it's it's not the Shadow Hunter; it's just a Mount King. Look, same items, Rope of the Magi. Potion of Greater Mana. Rope of the Magi. Potion of Greater Mana. And, and uh, yeah, some other items. Now we have a real Blade Master over here. Still, uh, he's missing some items, so. He only has that one slippers, which he got, by the way. Remember, these slippers he got from Chamiko. Chamiko creeped the creep jump over here. And was like, you know, the slippers, I don't need to pick them up and sell them. I'll just give them to you, Mr. Blade Master. And he was happy with it because without the slippers, his blade master would be nothing. Oh, close of haste, that's nice. That will make the blade master a bit more useful. At this point, he has maybe enough mana items for this Archmage uh, Shadow Hunter to win the game. I'll go, although more mana is always better. But uh, more damage on the blade master is even better, better at this point. Bandit's Forge Fire. I never realized uh, we have a Mountain King called Bandis. Band is Forge Fire. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if these are just put some random words together to make these names. Band is Forge Fire. Kills the peon. What's the supply? 62 against 50. Eight. We have a force supply advantage here for Jamiko. We have a priest initiate. Sorceresses are adept. Again, with the initiate priests, he doesn't like them to uh, be adept. We have a fake, fake samurai over there. We have samurai over here. But he's very low in XP, by the way. So he's not gonna get level four anytime soon. That means he's just gonna have level one critical strike. But he does get two close with haste somehow. And Shadow Hunter has the mana. Oh, it does. The Blade Master does do pretty much a lot of damage right now. Remember, he picked up the Tome of Agility plus two, and probably some more Tomes of Agility as well, because level three Blade Master at 30 base agility, that's not normal. I think he has like 26 or something normally, maybe 27. But the 30 is very nice. And he has two Gloss of Haste, means he attacks very, very fast. With 35 agility, he's, he's he doesn't have a lot of bonus damage, but he's Please going to do a lot of damage. Attack. Right, he's gonna attack so fast. He's he's like a machine gun with a sword, a machine sword. But not like snaky, not like a robot like that, but like uh, 
He's going to attack very fast. Let's just keep it at that. We have a heal skull here on the Archmage and the Info Potion. The Mount King also has an Info Potion. We have a Water Metal there. He's, he's gone. We have Hoda over here. And do we have... Oh, do we have upgrades this game? One one upgrades on the on the raiders, on the melee units. No upgrades, of course, for Chaimiko. Why would he ever get upgrades? No uh, blizzard. Class invis on the footman. I mean, all the creep pretty much have been crap besides this one. I'm not sure why Chaimiko doesn't like to creep this one. I mean, imagine the blade master would got it and another slippers of agility. That would be insane. We have an XP advantage for Chaimiko. But, um, he cannot attack, right? Chamiko cannot attack into the shop. That's definitely a GG. Fast is always gonna win the game. Like 99.9% .9 chance of Fast to win the game. You don't take the risk for Chamiko. Instead, you're gonna creep this, you're gonna build the expansion and let the orc come to you. Let him come to you. Even build a tower here, build a tower here as well. So if we uh, if we fight somewhere, we fight uh, alongside the tower. It comes fast. Okay. Does he have pillage? Doesn't. Okay. No pillage. Who cares about pillage? He does need to summon the peons though to build a shop somewhere. Maybe maybe over here. That's not good. Maybe over here. Maybe over here somewhere in the open. Here comes Mr. Water Elemental. He's invisible though, just like the Blade Master. Look, they're both blue. They're both invisible. They're friends. Except I can't see each other, so they are not friends. What what a poor friendship. Blade Master gonna buy some items, buy some heal scroll. How many do we have? We have uh, two heal scrolls here. For, no, one heal scroll here for Chamiko. We have uh, one one heal scroll here for uh, the other player. Fast. There's the shop. Okay, okay, this is fine. You know this position. But the water metal finds it. He goes for the shop, he gets uh, dusted though, and then, poof, he's gone. He was like, do, 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 do. was just a trick. Got you. Uh, the second water elemental though, might go for it. One dust has been used. He has one more dust, but the thing is, if he can force him to use that dust, then in the fight, his mountain king and archmage are going to be safe, or safer, uh, with that invisibility. And we've seen the few games uh, we saw earlier. A lot of the games were just won by... Uh, we're won by fast because he just went for the heroes. Just a click the heroes. Just oh, these guys are going for the shop maybe, or maybe the wyvern, or maybe something oh, else. I don't think Chimiko should attack into the shop. The shop is gone is up now. He should have either fought way earlier when he could have maybe still cancelled the shop or not fight at all. Don't think he should fight here. Chimiko 77 supply, fast at 70. Oh, maybe Chimiko should build a tower here. <laughs> Just build towers, one each, one at a time. Oh, but what? We see fast retreating. Oh no, never mind. He was just baiting out Chamiko. He's just trying to bait out Chamiko. If fast can fight near the shop, man, this is gonna be such an easy game for fast. Easiest game of his life. He has two one now on his raiders. You have footman over here. I'm not sure what they're doing here. He could buy a, a sapper and run the sapper to here, maybe. Get both these burrows or to here maybe. That would be the better, I guess. Are under oh, but the footman just dying. Never mind. GG footman. You can, you guys live a happy life. Oh, the footman were just bait though. Now we can kill the shop. Okay, so Chamiko has a bit more room to breathe, breathe not right now. But uh, he did lose two footmen there. I'm not sure where the third one went. Is he over here? Oh, the third one was invisible. That's not fair. Why are two of the footmen visible and one of them is not? Uh, yeah, that's not fair. His friends got killed, but now he's like, uh, I want to get killed as well. Invis is about to run out, so he's just going to die as well. Maybe, uh, okay, he does wish to feed him. <laughs> 78 spike and 78, uh, 77. Raiders are 2-1. He's getting second armor upgrade. Of course he is. Why, why am I doubting him? He's getting 2-2. The wyvern will be 0-2. Spellbreakers are 0-0. We have uh, Adept Sorceresses, Adept Priest now, summoning the Militia, he has uh, 3k gold, and he is fighting near the oil shop though, I don't like this too much, one Spellbreaker gets killed immediately, one other one gets uh, instead, or was it the Footman, it must have been the Footman, 
Uh, two more Spellbreaker Sign. Oh, we have Blizzard. Retrain to Blizzard. There's some Blizzard. This uh, Wyvern, maybe his Stormbolt in his face is gonna kill him. Because uh, he's not retreating. There's a Stormbolt in his face. There, the Militia. 76 Spine against 73. This Spellbreaker takes so much damage. There's more Blizzards. Blizzards, of course, is the way how human Chimiko can still win this game. Because he's behind in upgrades. And I believe the heroes. I mean, if it wasn't for Blizzard, I would say uh, the heroes are a bit stronger here for uh, for a fast, especially next to the shop. Bla uh, the Mountain King well, might have to use the Info Potion pretty early. There it is. And the Blade Master also uses his Info Potion. There's a beautiful Blizzard on all the Raiders, though. But we have a, a Shellfish Archmage. He's back to being a normal Archmage. This Spellbreaker taking a lot of damage. He goes uh, down. There's a beautiful Blizzard again. But we have a Red. Archmage, but every hex he uses costs mana, of course. There's another uh, Blizzard, and uh, although he does still have the greater potion of mana, where's the Mount King? Mount King taking a lot of damage. We have a Chicken Archmage now. He keeps being a different animal. There's a different, uh, another Blizzard. There's a Stormbolt on the Blade Master. He's in the Blizzard. He's taking so much damage, but there's a Heal Wave, and he has to retreat now. Oh, so many units dead here for fast, but for Chamiko, of course, as well. But uh, more for fast, like Chamiko up in supply. He's going for towers now. Does he have masonry? No, of course not. But uh, he does have still 2k gold in the gold mine. Do we have uh, clarity? Where? What? No, he used the greater mana potion. But sure, that I like that. But uh, or I mean, if he has to, sure. But he needs the clarity. There it is. Mountain King is invisible. Blade Master is almost level four. Just like Shakti Lar, the Shadow Hunter, was already level four. There's a Stormbolt on his radio, but it's not going to die. Because he's uh, kind of saved the Mountain King in a lot of trouble. He does did give the info potion. Oh, why not use the info potion? It wasn't on cooldown, guys. It was not on cooldown. And now the Archmage is his turn to be focused. The Blade Master actually just killing. Oh, this Blade is killing all the peasants, but also the Blade Master, but also the peasants. And the Blade Master goes down, and so do all the peasants. I mean, that sacrifice was worth it. But the peasants, I mean, how are you gonna explain it to the family? Like. Uh, yeah, your peasants died, but they, they helped bring a Blade Master down. Okay, I guess our families would ex understand. They're like, okay, Blade Master, wow. I guess we get a Medal of Honor, right? And then, of course, they would. Uh, there's some more Blizzards. The code hasn't eaten anything. 51 supply now against 60, though. As you can see, Chamiko lost so much supply there, killing his own peasants, losing units at the same time. And the uh, Mount King, of course, uh, as well as that. But uh, this, this sorceress does go down to the grunts. Uh, we only have a few raiders there. A beautiful position on these raiders. Look at that ensnare on the Archmage. He's out of mana as well. He still has a healing scroll. Do we see more ensnares? Oh, no ensnares. And do we have a Mount King? The Mount King is back. The Blade Master is not back, so he needs to buy time for the Blade Master to come back. 48 supply against 60. Fast has a supply lead, but 5 supply is in this altar. And he kills the shop, but I didn't even notice how much attention am I paying to this game? Are you serious? There was a shop there for uh, Chamiko. Look at all these bodies still over there. These guns going to die. Okay, this is going to be a very Chamiko favorite fight until the Blade Master comes back. There's some Blizzard. Let's see if this Sakoto can eat something. He's hungry. There, he eats uh, Spellbreaker. That's so tasty, man. There's more Blizzards. One uh, Spellbreaker went over down, down over there as well. This Raider tank love damage. Level 5 Shadow Hunter means level 3 healing wave. Maybe he lost his Blade Master on purpose so he could get a level 5 Shadow Hunter. So he can heal everything. And now that the Blade Master will be back uh, with the level 5 Shadow Hunter, he has infinite healing. But he's out of mana. He does have a shop still, uh, which has uh, all the mana items available to buy here. The Mountain King is pretty low here. So once the Blade Master comes back, just one right click can be enough. One critical strike, doing a gazillion damage. The sources should be Maiko. There it is, there's a Maiko. Here is the Blade Master. Goes for the Mountain King. He has the Info Potion though. Uh, this time maybe he won't forget to use it. There it is. He used the Info Potion. This uh, Grunt taking a bit of damage. He's dead. Uh, Kodo is still standing over there. These Junes might go back. I think uh, Fast is gonna win this fight here. So Chamiko maybe has to TP out instead of running away. Loses one more Sorceress. If he TPs out, he heals back his units, his Mountain King and everything. I think he has a pretty good chance, but now he's losing more units one by one. Don't think he should stay in this fight. He does have that TP. He, he was ahead by 
six supply. Now it's only ahead by two supply. And there it is. There's a TP way too late, man. Romantic would have TP'd way earlier. Uh, that spell breaker does survive. Sure, the Shadow Hunter can man up, but I mean, look at all these orc units at full hit points. Uh, the human had some uh, red units. Uh, Mount King as well. Let's see. Upgraded guns, almost bears. <laughs> Still losing. I mean, upgraded guns, almost bears. Of course, you're talking about bears that are zero zero, though. Hard to play one matchup that's not free win. Better win. <laughs> I mean, I feel like every everyone is whining. So I try to avoid reading those comments. We have some raiders here with some spirit walkers. Godo. Shadow Hunter level 5. Okay, here comes Shamiko on his horse. I mean, the Fortnite level 3 Blizzard does a lot of damage. Mountain King is almost level 5 as well. How close is the Blade Master? Not very close. Samuro is very far from level 5. 50 spike is 50. A player's forces are under attack. Blizzard is still good at 50 spike and 50, but oh here come the militia. He has seven militia though. Oh we have a lot of peons here as well. Eight peons, but they have gold and <laughs> look at them with the gold back. <laughs> That's not how you go to war. Oh the Archmage in trouble. Archmage is being uh, oh, what is that? Archmage just blinked. From there to there, beautiful blink there by the Archmage. I didn't know he was a warden, uh, but there's no dust I think here for or oh the blade master in trouble. Stormbolt and he does still have oh he could have windwalk, but now he can't anymore because the spellbreaker stole all his mana and now he's dead. Uh, just the greed of the blade master to try to kill the mountain king, got himself killed. Of course he gets the mountain king, but he's losing the shadow hunter as well, so that has to be GG. And the peons go for the sorceress. With their gold in their... Maybe they say should, they should make a deal. Like, I give you my 10 gold, you let me live, okay? Like, that's what I would do if I was a peon. Uh, I'm not very uh, honorable, I guess. I don't fight for my king. I'm just like, okay, just let me live. Here's the gold. Uh, you see Fa still fighting here without heroes. There's some more blizzards. This spellbreaker, uh, pretty low hit points. It could kill the spellbreaker. Oh, he kills the spellbreaker. Kodo is just walking around. He already ate, so there it is, GG.